Folks, welcome aboard Sunday afternoon. The Margu Tri Generational Campaign is going live. Thanks for joining us. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube. <laughs> if you want to shoot the shit about D&D, &D, join our Discord. If you want to buy our crap, like a sweatshirt or shirt or phone case or duvet cover or any of the other crap that we sell, uh, links down below. If you want to be on a one shot or on the talk show on Tuesdays, hit us up at M Hobo Inc. Twitter or Gmail. Uh, we will do our best to get you on. It is the holiday season, so it's uh, sketchy at best. And if you're in the mood for dice, and who isn't, uh, go over onto Twitter at Pirate Dog Dice. Check them out. Uh, hit them up. See if they can make you some customized dice. And of course, your game stinks, unlike ours, because ours smells like success. Try a little adventure sense from oddfishnames.com. It comes in over 60 cents for your nasal pleasure. Uh, they also make something called the Shine System, which helps people write much more gooder than me. Uh, check that out, oddfishgames.com. On to the game. Uh, nice. Boys and girls, this is Margu B. We'll go ahead and explain what it is in a minute. First off, let's introduce you to everybody who's going to be playing today. We will start with the senior utmost member of this ensemble, Frank Senior. Who are you? Who are you playing? Well, apparently today my name is Sneezy. I'm playing <laughs> Leon Sphinx, the Leonin Barbarian Extraordinaire. Just out for a good time. That's AJ, I think. Uh, from the eldest to the youngest. Different uh, kind of good time. <laughs> Uh, let's hear from our youngest member. Uh, go ahead and tell us who you are and who you're playing. I'm Sophia, and I am the I am a warlock and a fallen Azimar. Can you stop looking at me like that? It's creeping me out. Okay. Okay. Uh, and her ever loving father is up next. Same question, different oh. answers. I am Frank, the middle. I am playing Barnum. The uh, PTSD crazed war, uh, cleric, I almost said warlock. Just a little bit uh, too much battle. I, every once in a while, you know, I just kind of, <laughs> grandma starts talking to me. That magical voice in my head. And only you can guess who gets to be grandma's voice. I'll guess this one right here. This no, one right that one. Return it right back at yourself. Uh, next up is Jason. Jason, uh, always on our A side. On the B side, he's playing somebody different. Jason, tell us about yourself. Tell us about your character. Nobody sure, on the B side. No one likes the B side. I actually named this character Bean because he's on the B side. He, I am playing Vanali Bean, uh, a, an aberrant mind sorcerer with a little bit of bard thrown in, only so he can encourage the workforce being an hr specialist for granite incorporated um he is here to inspire these folks to greater and greater efforts he's always always enthusiastic and always uh optimistic about what's coming next uh -huh. last but certainly not least little frank who are you who are you playing hello i am gornak the mighty also Leon and Barbarian. We are Lillian and Brothers. I have signed one of the best deals ever made in history, and I'm about to carry it out today, this <laughs> mighty fine day of ours. You forgot to mention you signed it with that shyster Vanali. Yeah, that also happened. You also he forgot to there. mention that you are away from everybody else. Mm -hmm. uh, AJ will be joining us later, a.k.a. the Human Burrito. Uh that's a different Man. story entirely. Uh, Long story yeah, short on this, um, Barnum and and Veal, uh -uh. Depending, depending on uh, on what version you want to believe, uh, have made a real estate purchase. Uh, in doing so, they have also discovered that it was being burglarized. Uh, Leon, Barnum, Beal all arrived at the house. Uh, Leon Barnum went in, nearly beat the crap out of each other. I believe there was some kind of ass-kissing ensemble going on. Uh, Beale's outside cutting her new frown burrow, and Vanali arrived to try and get more signatures to sign off on the Garnet Inc. contract. Gornak the Mighty is hanging out somewhere in the eastern part of the city uh, with his two newfound 
friends. Actually, you and AJ are together, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, I, I, I found him. I'm sorry. Right. You, you did find a human tortilla. Yep, I mean, um, cut him out, I think. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you started to do that once already. Uh, we'll start inside the new home. Barnum, Beal, Leon, Vanali, all four of you are in the cellar. You have two, we'll call them urchins, tied to a chair in the cellar trying to determine what they were doing in your house. Uh, I'll leave it up to you guys. You guys take the lead. <clears throat> Vanali, you've got a sweet tongue. Why don't you see if you can get them to tell you what they were doing here? Vanilla uh, bean. Let's see. What? Yeah, I'll try a roll. Would uh, persuasion be the best choice for trying to convince these guys to spill the beans there? They are currently unconscious. Oh, well, that's not a problem. I'm going to pick one, pick the head up of one and use it like a marionette at Leon. Go, I don't know what I was doing here. I'm an innocent bystander. <laughs> Got it. Seems, seems good <laughs> enough, buddy. <laughs> and see. <laughs> uh, you guys want to wake him up? Throw yep. some water on Wake him up. Yep. Cool. I don't know. Think what's on him. Let's we'll splash some liquid on them. Uh, 15 and 17, they're both awake. Uh, you have an individual on the left with blonde hair, an individual on the right with brunette hair. Both are male. <coughs> I'm going to welcome them back to consciousness and ask them if I can get them anything, and maybe they could share why they're in this basement. Uh, persuade me. Uh, no. No, I'm not going to persuade you. They have opted to go with a tight-lipped response. I'm going to go. I'll walk up. I'm going to walk up to one of them and pop out a claw and kind of poke it in his upper thigh and say, I'm sorry, I didn't quite hear what you said. I'll take intimidation on that one. Uh, plus one. Oh, that's a natural 20. That'd be 21. Uh, he points out that his name is Franklin, and he was just following his friend Bash into this house for uh, unknown reasons. For unknown reasons? What reasons? I don't know. I was just hanging out with my buddy Bash here, and, uh, you know, friends, friends hanging out with friends. We were under the impression that this house was for sale and not yet occupied. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna look gonna at the. Up. I'll look at the other one. I don't know who was I just poking the blonde. Uh, you're poking the blonde. Okay, I'll look at the redhead and so I and I'm gonna say, well, I guess it's you. I need to stick a claw in then, huh? Brunette. Uh, hey, Leon. Brunette. I want to grab that brunette and I'm gonna <laughs> grab my collar and slap her and say, "Who's in the pentaveret? Who's in the pentaveret?" <laughs> Give, give me a two hit roll first. Make sure you don't slap B. Oh, Jesus. You're probably going to slap me. <laughs> he wants you to slap B. Oh, God, does he ever. And we roll. It's going to be bad. Never mind. 12. Yeah, AC 10. They're tied to a chair. <clears throat> you smack him. Uh, go ahead and give me intimidation. You got intimidation, girl, not me. You got some investigation. Oh, you are right. Thank you. His bond isn't in work this today. I rolled a two. You suck. So, hey, Leon. Uh, yeah. Bean's going to suggest to you that sometimes in these employee discipline situations, it helps to separate the two offenders so you can talk to them separately. <clears throat> How big are they? Uh, they're uh, adolescent teen humans. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to grab. Is there more than one room down this basement? Nope, big old basement. But first, uh, Barnum, in response to your smack, uh, Bash whew, spits blood on your boot. He is not intimidated. Tells you his mother hits harder oh. than that. Oh. I've had words hurt me more than you did, big boy. Uh, I'm going to go take your prayer beads 
and shove them up your altar spot. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and put my fake teeth in and going to reach out, grab them by the throat. Dirty 20 to, to touch. Yeah. And Easily. then I'm going to uh, vampiric touch for two points of damage. Nice. You know. With it my was, fangs, my fake fangs hanging out. Sure. Uh, Leon, Vanali, uh, no, this is a big cellar room. If you want, you can drag one of them upstairs. I'll grab the brunette and drag him upstairs. Uh, he's Here. currently dealing, he's being choked out by Barnum. Well, then I guess I won't drag him upstairs yet. Okay. I'll say, gonna, Barnum, Barnum, Yeah. let me, let me take him upstairs. Okay, I push him down. I push his chair over. Barnum, as you turn to look at Leon and agree, I'm going for the goalposts of life. 17 plus 2, 19. <laughs> I'm confused. He just uh, kicked you in the nads. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> for, for two hit points. Oh, he got his two hit points away from you. That's right. I'll take those back. Fucker. Hey, 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 hey. Language, hey, language. Hey, you, know, you know what time it is? You know what time it is? 2.30. Apparently, Bash is the braver one. Uh, Franklin, the blonde, not so much. I'm going to grab one. I'm going to take the brunette upstairs. Okay. Are you going to unleash him out of the chair? Or? Yeah, I'll cut him loose and drag him up. He uh, Finally, someone who no, realizes no, no, no. how no, valuable no, no. I am. <laughs> I've got a hold of him. That's fine. He'll, he'll I'll, straighten I'll up. Dig in a, I'll dig in a little bit. Hey, 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 princess. Maybe later, but not I'll right squeeze, now. I'll squeeze <laughs> a little bit harder. Uh, give me an intimidation. 19. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'll do what you say. I'll take him upstairs. <clears throat> Vanelli Bean, do you want to go with me here? I think we need to have a conversation. Uh, but I, I can't be, I can't see anything that I'd be called upon to testify in front of the magistrate about later, however. So I you're don't a, know what your intentions are, but I just so, think we need to so have So basically, a you're, a, you're a wuss. So Not a I'm, problem. Vanelli's going to ask. I'm, he's going to say, "Listen, I'm I'm going to have a conversation with with this other one that's still in the basement first, and then I'll be upstairs to see what your your guy says." I'm going to take him upstairs, and I'm going to say, "Look, I don't know what you were doing here. In here, I don't really care what you're doing in here. I don't know who owns this house. I don't, and I just don't really care. Who do you work for?" Who, who runs the thievery in this town? Fair enough. Gornak the Mighty, uh, you successfully cut AJ's dwarf character out. Uh, the ladies have picked up the three downed ones, uh, keeping in mind that the Xena-esque brunette did do a number uh, on the assailants. Uh, you guys are in the middle of the plaza at this time and have no idea where everybody is at so you're kind of screwed uh you can do the talking for aj at this point in time okay i will so i am currently aj in this you, talking point you are currently both i'm both so i am going to ask the woman who is not unconscious yet because that would be weird Right. Okay, I'm going to ask the one who beat up the two other guys, where are you taking Mr. Garçon? <clears throat> well, uh, your uh, buddy here was going to go to a bachelorette party. Can I, like, can we, like, take a second there? Just, like, and, like, sit down for, like, a couple seconds. Like, you got all day. It's the middle of the night, man. Ah, so great. So that's a yes from her. Her. Yeah, she'll 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 talk it over. She's she's feeling the endorphins, the adrenaline still coursing through her body. She's pumped. Yeah, man. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, then I guess I'll go with them 
and kind of assist them on the way. Hang on, let's uh, let's see how she thinks of you. Don't much care for your hair. <laughs> I don't think I have. How can ah? Oh, forget it. <laughs> I'm okay. wearing a helmet. I don't have hair. She doesn't you're, like my you're scales. You're a Leonid. Oh right. <laughs> I, I'm That's getting an, things are meshing together. Eight. Yeah, you're a Leonid. You're a you're a hairy person. And yeah. with an eight, she doesn't much care for you. She, I don't. She's gonna her. call you Fabio. Fuck you. <laughs> so are, are you and AJ content with going to this bachelorette party and committing all kinds of debauchery? Uh, no, I was just going to go there to eat cake and then, or if there is cake, and then you, you mean just the like, cake that's wrapped around AJ's naked body. Yeah, I, well, I, that's a better idea. Uh, <clears throat> nowhere else is open in their office. No, it, it's stuff. midnight. Yeah, no other their place is open. What There's only the... Um, there's only the end, so I guess I'll go with her and assist her unconscious friends. Cool. Uh, you guys go over to the tailor shop. Uh, it's just about a block away. Uh, and you can surmise how these ladies were going to get AJ's pastry strewn body up the stairs. However, as you go up the stairs, there is a celebration going on. It is filled with uh, some ladies that uh, AJ, what is his character's name? Rory? Uh, Rolf. 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 Uh, Rolf will recognize every single attendee here. <laughs> surprise, surprise, surprise. <laughs> it is a female bachelorette party. And as you two appear, uh, cheers of joy, I think. Ooh, not so much. Uh, the ladies seem to have already been hitting the bottle already. And you may consider them drunken louts. They tend to be aggressive uh, uh, and shout funny. that these strippers are here. Uh, no. Anybody else <laughs> just automatically you know. picture the full Monty movie right now? I'm going to ask if anybody has a band aid. I'm thinking cause... non magic Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not magic Mike. Uh, however, uh, much to your uh, happiness, Gornak, uh, there is a table uh, filled with a bevy of foods, uh, finger foods, fruits, dip, uh, and, and yep. ale. Now, AJ, or I'm sorry, Ralph, I will assume will be making the rounds of all his favorite personal friends, including the bride-to-be, uh, having just had his ass beat by the groom and his friends. Uh, you, however, can eat. Uh, I, I, I would like to actually, I was just going to ask, they got like a bandage that I could quickly, like, because I'm, I have 21 health right now. I, uh, wow. Not, I know I'm not doing so hot. Uh, D12 against me. Okie dokie. Nine. That's an eight. It was going to be a 10. Uh, do it yourself. There's some wraps over there. All right. I'll just kind of bandage myself. I.e. nobody cares about you here. <laughs> no, I, I, had, I had a strong feeling that was happening. Yeah, they, uh, they are not into the Fabio Leonid sect. Uh, but you do find the bandages. Give me a medicine check to make sure you apply them correctly. Medicine. Let's see. That's a plus two now. And it's an 18, that's a 30, 20. Nice. Uh, you managed to get yourself bandaged up, cleaned up. You find some alcohol that you can use to bind your wounds. I'll give you a D4 plus one roll on how many hit points you get back. D4 plus one. Three. Very good. Uh, back to the house. Uh, Leon, you go. go upstairs, apparently alone with Bash. Uh, what do you want to tell him? You're You're muted. Muted. <laughs> That's the best conversation ever. He just said something amazing. I'm going to ask him who he works, who runs the, uh, all the thievery in the town. Who do you work for? Who is number two? Uh, and I'll tell him, I don't, I don't care about this house. It's not my house. He works for Beaver, Cleaver, and Wally. Wally is his immediate supervisor. Beaver, okay. Cleaver runs the gang known as the Orphans. 
You know anything about the catacombs? The what accounts? Catacombs. I, I'm a dog person. Not a cat. But... Mm -hmm. The caves underneath the city. Oh, yeah. I know a lot about that. Been down there? Why do you ask? Because the uh, wow. company, Granite, or whatever the hell it's called, they're planning on cleaning them out. Hey, do you have anything to eat in this place? And he starts to open cupboards. And I'm, I'm going to tell him, you better go and warn your friends, because I've got a feeling that's where you're hiding out at. And I have no love for this company. So get out of here. You're the boss. Yep. He, walk, he walks out the front door and immediately hightails it out. Down below, Barnum, Beale, Benally. What are you going to do with Franklin? Clearly, he's the uh, loose end here. I say we bury him up to his neck. No. He becomes yep. concerned. So, uh, Vanali's gonna, he's gonna look at, I don't know any of these player characters. I'm new. I just work with HR, so I don't know anything, but I'm, I'm gonna talk to Franklin and really um, try to have either deception or performance and suggest that I'm very concerned about how this is going to turn out, given the temperament on that cat person that just took him upstairs. That guy seems like really unstable. Um, Barnum may know better. <clears throat> I've never met this guy before, but I, if Franklin knows anything, I, I think now's the time to share it. Uh, and maybe maybe he will only lose a limb and not his life before he's done. Pretty good performance role on that one. Uh, 14. Oh, I, I think that cat guy's an asshole. And, I, you know, I, I'm just here. I was following my buddy. Honestly, I, I don't even know what we're doing here. Uh, last time I knew this house was for sale. I didn't Who's know it was yours. You know, this would be a good time for me to come back downstairs smiling a toothy grin alone. Yeah, but you asked some questions, so you got to wait a little bit. <laughs> I, who, who, who actually sent him down here? I, I was following my buddy Bash. He said, uh, you know, we could probably rip off this place since it's for sale and nobody's probably here. So he admits that he was here to steal stuff, but nothing else. That's that's what I thought we were here for. I didn't take anything. Last thing I remember is uh, that guy uh, kissing the butt of that cat guy. <laughs> and I, hey, you know, you know, I'm cool with that. That you know, I, I'm not. There's no judgment here. That, but that's the last thing I remember right before I got knocked out. So I don't know what they got going on. I'm just saying. I assume Barnum can hear this conversation, right? He's right there. Forget on me. Forget on me. 17, unarmed strike. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Wait a minute. Stop right there. Didn't he take two points of damage a few no. minutes ago? Oh, I, that's that's right. You got to take. Uh, you got to make your roll. Oh. All right, you got right. kicked. You got kicked me. in a yeah. Yeah, you got kicked in the yam bag. So. I just happened to think about that. I huh? forgot about that. You are correct. You are correct, sir. Oh, this just went downhill fast, didn't it? Yep, sure did. We may have to rewind because I was down there when that happened with the other guy, that, the one that did it. You believe every full moon you turn into a were rabbit that craves cheese. Oh, not this guy. Uh, that's nothing. Uh, unless D D twelve against me. Oh God, you're seeing if it's a full moon. Yep, six. D twelve. I rolled a twelve. No moonlight in the cellar. That one would be better if it's you blink your aware rabbit, you desire cheese, and you think your partner is cheese. You know, your and you partner. have to do this the whole time. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You gotta have the ears. Okay. And I, I drop rabbit pellets everywhere. Oh yeah, that's even better. So Collect finale... them up, put them in baskets and leave them at people's doors. 
as the individual was telling you about this butt kissing incident, you notice Barnum is contemplating something, but you aren't quite sure what, because you have no idea he's the mad glare. I'm gonna look at I'm gonna look at the kid again and say, um, "Are you running? Do, do you you know? I don't know much about this town, so I'm outside this loop of everything else." And I say, "So, do you have anything on you? Uh, do you, where where are you? Where's your uh, buddy hang out? What are you going to do if you you get out of this with your skin intact?" I I met him over. At, at the at the the book dealer over in the the northwest corner or northeast corner of the city, sir. Can I detect insight on this guy? See if he's lying to me. Sure, go ahead. Uh, seven. I'm rolling like crap. Uh, sounds truthful to me. He he shows no signs of deceptiveness. Uh, Beal, what do you want to do with this guy? What do you want to do? You're not getting information. What What do you want to know? Why is he here? Why don't you intimidate him and make yeah, him tell us what yeah. you want? Get your knife and just start. I do I have a knife? Pull, yes, you I have, have a dagger. dagger. Take his hand and start doing this number around his hand. Yeah, I'm going to do. So I'm going to take my dagger. Wait, I don't know. What do you have intimidation? Is she, is she going to do yeah. this? This is yeah. what you. Oh, boy. You know okay. what they do? You need to stick a you need to stick a needle uh, under around his fingernails. His hand. Around his do hand. Torture. Do I use intimidation? Well, first, I guess you're rolling my deck. Are we rolling to hit or rolling to miss? You want to miss. Okay. <laughs> oh, I can roll for you then. Roll. <laughs> what do I do? Where she she rolled a ten. Okay. Hey, so and you may you maybe draw a little bit of blood. Let's see what your intimidation roll says. If you screw this up, I you're swear I am an I'm an innocent bystander. What are you talking about? There we go. Twenty three. If, if you screw this up, we'll call you Frank the Fourth. Yeah. <laughs> she's, she's not even looking at his hand and just going to town. I All really right. want to know. What's uh, going on? That that last nick, the last stab, you nick him a little bit, and he starts to whimper like a puppy. <laughs> okay, that's funny. So he will I'm answer ask any question you why want. Why are you here? He just told us that. <clears throat> why? I don't what, know. Like I told the <laughs> HR guy, you know, yeah. I'm just here with my buddy. Uh, we were going to, you know, rip off a little bit of stuff because this place is supposed to be empty. Uh, we didn't know it belonged to that guy as Leon walks Learned down the stairs. Interrogate. Not mine. Daddy, you interrogate. Leon's coming down without anyone, right? Yep. yep. I'm smiling. Where's, my, uh, where's, where, where's Bash? What, did you kill him? He's gone. I'm going to look at him and say, I think maybe it's your turn to come up here with me now. I, I would really rather not, sir. <laughs> and you see a pool of urine building in his pants. I'm intimidating. But now he's going to suggest, you know, we could just tattoo him with marks of shame on his face and let him go at this point. Oh, what's drawing him? Random, what's your random stuff on him? And then throw him in the middle of the town. Sigils of the elder okay. gods. Or just throw him into like, there's no hotels now. Throw him, I don't know. Just throw him somewhere where there's like people. Like, I'm just up to open a house. Telling me, uh, if you've got anything to say, you need to say it now while you've got a chance. I, if I, I like what if I like what you say, maybe I'll let you go. Yeah, I, I can only tell you what I know. My buddy and I came over here. He said this place was empty. We we're going to rip it off. No big deal. Next thing I know, you're getting your butt kissed by that guy over there, and I get knocked out. So no, I mom, I will not kill him. <laughs> Stop! I'm just gonna shake my head and say, well, "Eat yours. Do what you want with him. I'm done." He, his story has remained consistent since the yes, it has. has begun. Can you lead uh, us back to where you came from? The book well, finders. No. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I, I don't mind. Do you have a gathering place? Mother wants to know. 
gathering place. Where do you I, gather? I I I met my buddy at the bookbinder shop. Is that where you usually meet your buddy? Uh, Vanelli. He looks at you and goes, "Is this guy okay?" No, <laughs> oh. no, no, he's not. I'm looking at him too, and I'm going, "I no, he's not okay." Is he? Is this kid tied up? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to untie him. Okay. He doesn't move. He's, he's not moving. He's I'm, surrounded by you guys. And, uh, I'm gonna, you know, Finale, ape shit there is going gonna, to happen. He's going to take his elbow, lift him up out of the chair, and start walking towards uh, Leon. The last walk of the dead man. I'm going to I'm gonna tell him, I said, come on with me. And I'll, I'll grab him by the arm and start walking toward the stairs. Where are we, where are we going? What are we doing? We're going upstairs. I, I've, I've told you the truth. I've told you everything Take, I know. Going up where I took your friend. Huh. You gonna lead him up the stairs? Yep. Uh, okay. You're you're dragging him up. He's gonna try and yank your foot down, and he fails badly. <laughs> yeah, I bet he did. He grabs a hold of your leg and. Mm, mm, and the oh shit ometer. <laughs> I rolled a six. I'm a look at so what do you think you're doing? I was gonna trip you and run for my life. <laughs> I'm just gonna laugh and keep dragging him upstairs. Hey, they'll follow you upstairs. Now, I'm going to like ask you to get up top of the stairs. I'll say, you sure you've got nothing to say? Where's my friend? I don't know where your friend is. So he escaped? No. You should have done a support your local sheriff, poured a little paint on the floor. Yeah, that would have been a good call. Because, yeah, there's no signs of damage or anything no and there's no well there's <laughs> damage up here from where they were throwing shit at us yeah and there's lip prints on your hind quarters from uh, Bar that's from barnum though he's a rather intelligent soul and he picks up on this and he's like i told you all i know if well, you want me to take you over to the book place i'll take you over to the book place i yeah i don't care no i want you to get out of here i'm gonna let him go and shove him towards the door he takes off running Odd the same way as his friend, even the other way. Split the party. <laughs> okay. Because I, I honestly, Leon doesn't give a shit what they do. That's not what I'm here for. Gornak, give me a perception check. Gornak! Let's do a perception, baby. Where is it? It's right there. That is a 19. Uh, as you kind of circle the room with a mug of wine and some cheese and biscuit products, uh, trying to talk to the ensemble, you notice that none of them give two craps about you. Basically, ignore you. You find yourself on the second floor looking out the window and you see one individual just hauling the mail across the plaza. Just and, booking it? Yep. And you kind of lose sight as he goes around the corner. That is weird. Hmm. But he's in a rush. And then yeah. I turn around. A, a minute later, you look back out, and here's another guy running on the other end of the plaza. That's a little bit weirder. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, Ralph is casually agreeing to do a performance for the ladies. <laughs> Green lyrics. Thank God. He has a... a triangular party hat he has a small recorder slash horn slash flute and he's playing a tune and he's dancing and you feel it in the pit of your stomach that this is going to go poorly have they brought in a sheep yet not yet and it's a pony because it's right pony. i'm sorry my bad my bad <laughs> he's uh but he's still like naked right where's where's his gear at this point his gear's back in the bakery, but he does have his undergarments on there. Okay. Yeah. Because I, I knew I would not get him to take off all his clothes. I knew I could probably get him to take off his armor. So his armor is back in the bakery. So there's a mostly naked 
dwarf wearing a party hat and playing a kazoo at a bachelorette party. And you singing, ever, I believe in miracles. Have you ever seen the meme of the old white haired guy in the loincloth playing the flute in the middle of the celebration? No, but I will be looking it up afterwards. I, yeah, I, I was trying <laughs> to find that picture. That's pretty much what's going on here. Gornak can't buy a friend, and you four are at home. So uh, it is a fully furnished uh, building. We're looking about 1 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> so <laughs> you've had a pretty full day from getting the shit kicked out of you by the goblin whore to all the hijinks here in town. I'm just well, gonna... I, for one, am going to get some shut-eye. Is there a, this is a <clears throat> two-story building? Oh, yeah. This is a beautiful house. Great buy. Uh, you can thank Beale. I understand she was instrumental in the purchase. In the purchasing. How well, I'm, I'm going to secure the doors okay. and head upstairs. My windows. What about the broken window? Yeah. That's yeah. uh, not, not my problem, not my house. <laughs> Beale, welcome to the joys of the home ownership. Uh, what about you, Vanelli? Uh, am I now aware that Barnum and Beale own this property? Probably not. I, I but, well, yeah, because yeah, they were arguing back just... and forth about ownership. So yeah, you you can surmise that in some capacity they are co-owners of this domicile. How so, the hell are we co-owners? So I'm going to approach Beale, <clears throat> uh, being the saner of the two owners. And, uh, and just uh, inquire. I said, I haven't secured rooms in town yet, uh, and I don't get a per diem anyways. Is there any chance I could sleep on the couch? You can stay here, but you get to sleep on the ground. It's a golden night. I guess you're sleeping on the floor there, bud. No, no carpet. Only there, well, there's rugs. probably throw rugs or, or, or rushes on the ground, I assume. Yeah, there are rugs. Nice house. It's a nice place, man. It's a nice place. There's a fireplace. I'll curl up next to the fireplace. Tell me. Is there, a, is there a fire in that fireplace? Uh, no, it needs to be made. Oh, there, there's yeah. a few ricks of wood there, though. But now it's once again, like he lives there and makes a fire. He's not shy about it at all. Sure, there you go. Barnum and Beale, what are you doing? Going up to, I'm going to go upstairs and see if there's any bedrooms. I was say, I've it. never been in my own place, so I'm going to start walking around. I'm exploring. Oh, okay, are you going to drag chains behind you? <laughs> that, that's this evening while people sleep on the floor by the fireplace. Uh, <laughs> you, you will find one secure door upstairs uh that is where leon is at uh vanelli give me a straight up d20 what do you mean leon's at <laughs> uh, i want to bed you're able to make a fire no issues whatsoever there is more than enough uh instrumentation there to go ahead and start it with kindling blah 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 uh, in no time you have a roaring fire and you are curled up ah uh, maybe Accidentally tug a throw rug over, use this pillow. It's not a big I, deal. Oh, yeah, it's 1 a.m. I, I sure you. He's out. <laughs> what, uh, what room is Leon in? One of the bedrooms uh, upstairs. One of the bedrooms. The master bedroom. Where do you think he's in? <laughs> uh, yeah, baby. I'm going to say probably the best room according to him. I'm looking around. If he's in my room, his ass is out. Well, the door's locked. <laughs> That's all right. I have a booming voice. I can cast that at will. Sure. Uh, Gornak, roll me a D8, please. A D8? Yeah. Just straight up? Straight up. Beal, you do the same, please. Beal. I got a seven. <laughs> what do you need? D8, straight up. Die eight? Yeah. Um, there you go, honey. Okay. Which one's that one. This one. Oh, it's weird. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> Fair enough. Uh, Gornak, for what seems like an eternity, this party, this bachelorette party goes on and on and on. Fortunately, you found an overstuffed chair 
uh, and as you watch Ralph make an ass out of himself, uh, you slowly drift into slumber. Do I have like a piece of cake in my hand? Probably. <laughs> piece of cake, well, you're spilling wine on the carpet. Yep. You're laying it, so you'll be laying there purring. Mm -hmm. right. But remember that piece of cake. Uh, hopefully you didn't get it from the bum area. No, I'm hoping that. After seven hours, you wake up. <laughs> oh. So wait, do, do I have replenished anything? Like a short rest, does that count as well? You get all, all right, your hit a, points back. It's a long rest. Yeah, oh, you, okay. you got a long rest. You, uh, you wake up to find the sun just streaming in the windows. Ralph is in a pile of friends. Uh, there's cake smeared in various sundry places. It's just a weird scene overall. <laughs> But it's it's like mid morning. I mean, yeah, it's like nine o'clock for you. Over in the house, uh, after uh, haunting, I would assume that Barnum finally found a bed, as did Beale. You guys have spent the next five hours in there, so it is about six a.m. when you guys wake up. You find that the fire that Vinali uh, set up has died down the embers are still a little bit hot but uh, yeah, we'll build no it back up no roaring fire uh the place is furnished uh i would assume there are some foodstuffs in there as well so as the sun starts to rise over the city walls uh you guys <clears throat> that was a good night's rest uh no signs of forced entry. The, the window is still broken on the one side, and there is a knocking at the door. I'll go answer the door. I follow. It's the cops. Oh, God. Can I help you? Are you the uh, owner of this place? Who's asking? <laughs> Magistrate's guards. And tell them to go guard the magistrate. The magistrate's well, back that way. Well, we noticed you had a broken window. We wanted to make sure that everything was okay. Ah, uh, we are just fine. Just be uh, okay. Just uh, be yeah, beh be behind them, a short female gnome in a gold coat pipes up. Yep, that's the guy I sold the house to. Because no. remember, Century 21. Uh, sold you the house. So she goes ahead and <laughs> clears you with the guards and the guards again ask, you know, are you, are you aware of the, the broken window, sir? Do we need to come in and search? Is everything okay? Nah, everything's absolutely fine. Welcome aboard, citizen. We will uh, leave you in peace. And they turn around and continue. It's, it's nice to know that the local constabulary are taking care of you. They're, they're keeping an eye out for you. So don't pull any of that a cab bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do anything. I was a good boy. They're, they're looking out for you. They're looking out for you. I just told no, we're good. Yeah, didn't give you any trouble. Confirmed. I mean, they're looking out for you. This is where they get paid. This is where your tax dollars go. That and in the catacombs. I was about to say, apparently not into the catacombs because I got to go there. <laughs> so you four are awake. Kind of moving a little bit slow. Oh, man. Vanelli, uh, uh, you got free lodging for the night, so that's yeah. a bonus. Yeah, things are looking up. I want to build the fire make, back up and get some breakfast cooking. Yeah, yeah Vanelli's going to look to see if there's tea or coffee in the kitchen. He's going to make a pot, get things rolling. Uh, there's a uh, small tin of herbs, and on it is marked N-E-S-T-E-A. <laughs> yep, smells good. We use these. There you go. Smells wonderful. Smells I, like I thought morning. for sure it was going to be catnip. <laughs> uh, outside, you can hear <laughs> carts beginning to move. Uh, you guys have been around the block once or twice. You understand yeah. that these farmers bring in their goods. Uh, the carts outside are probably headed to the plaza, unless you guys want to stop one and see what they got. Yeah, I I'll go out. I was going to stop and see if what's one got carrying. Uh, D12 against me. D12. There are two cards. 
And I rolled a two. And roll it again. This time I rolled a one. Very rolled nice. Uh, you're a little bit late to the door. As uh, the carts roll by, you notice one of them appears to be some kind of dairy products, cheese, uh, milk. Uh, the other one is uh, fruits and veggies. Oh, how they, how? They, uh, I'll do perception for both. The dairy. Uh, Ten. Uh, veggie doesn't hear you. Uh, dairy hears you. He goes, Oi, what do you want? Hold on. Me, hey, I, got, I, I got to get dairy. my stuff to the plaza. Where hey, I, I need some dairy product here. And while I'm, he's unloading, I'm going to holler. I, I'm going to buy dairy. I need some oh, cheese. Sure. What else you got? Cheese, milk. I got milk. I got ghost milk. I got uh, bull milk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I got I'll, I'll, milk. I'll, take, I'll take some bull's milk special for my <laughs> kitty cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I'll put that in the yeah. for him. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> I'm gonna sleep in my bed, son of a bitch. <laughs> nice. I figured I could get away with that joke since Sophia's in the other room. Yeah, uh, she is that. So, uh, yeah, uh, they load you up, uh, ask for three gold pieces, but give you heaping portions. Not a problem. I'll give them their gold. Uh, just leave the bucket outside. I'll be by later on to pick it up. Hey, if you see any uh, meat vendors or veg, send them this way. Or a veg guy just left. No. But yeah, I'll send them your way if I can. All right, D12 against me. Barnum, D12. One. Reroll. So did I. <laughs> Five. Uh, just around the corner comes another cart, hurriedly moving forward. Uh, your local dairy man goes, oh, there's Roscoe. Here he comes. Uh, Roscoe has two burrows, uh, and he is hauling the mail. Hell, okay. Roscoe, my man. Yes, strange person I've never seen before. How you doing, sir? I'm I'm looking to uh, purchase uh, some mail. Got a few caskets. Uh, I only provide meat. He was Thanks, hauling man. hauling the mail. The mail. Oh. Yeah, he was humping. Moving hurriedly. Yes, he he's got meat. Yeah, don't oh. say humping to somebody just so bull milk, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All hey, right. Not my fault you're getting the, the stuff. If, if there's somebody, somebody selling meat out there, I'm, I, I, I'm Leon, meat. Leon's going to go out and buy some. Sure. Uh, he, he's, got, he's got all kinds. He, he's looking for a big banner day. He's just slaughtered a cow. Uh, he's also slaughtered a pig, so... He's got a variety of things, and he's got one item he calls haggis. Comes from his sheeps. Haggis his sheeps. is in Margaret B is A. It's not in Margaret B. Yeah, he's right. Haggis is in, yeah, A. Yeah. That's true. Wordplay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna well, stay I'm away. Gonna, I'll bite, I'll I'll bite, I'll bite, I'll bite, I'll bite on the haggis. Uh give me a bowl. Give me perception checks, uh, Barnum and Leon. Um, Sixteen. You two can screw with Alex later, as you notice this guy starts carving off hunks of meat with his silver mermaid dagger. <laughs> I say, hey, I've got one of those too, and hold mine up so he can see it. Oh, that's very nice. Yes, I use mine all the time. It's very flashy. I like yes. it a lot. Ah, so don't I. I love it. Ah, ah. You know, Leon, you can <clears> buy <throat> this one from this young man, so you have two. I could, but I've got one. I don't need two. No, okay. This one's not going to be for sale. You know what? This one cuts his meat quite well. <laughs> is, 
Is how much would you sell there? that? How much would you sell that day? Oh, I would never sell Betsy to anyone. You sure? I'm positive. Okay. Just holding on to this makes me feel good. One I million dollars. Why I once fell into a river. I thought I was gonna drown. Nope. Didn't drown a bit. Oh. So, that cellar was there a provision cellar portion of that where you store there was okay good i'll store some stuff and i'll buy enough to store up and to feed investigation Thirteen. yeah you just stack it up there all right that's all i needed fair enough i got dairy and i got uh Hey Leon, I bought you some milk, sir. So I'll leave it. I'll leave it in the kitchen for you. I got a haunch of beef. I'm gonna take it in, get it on the spit, and start cooking. Sure, uh, Vanelli. What do you What do you want to do? If, did Speak I speak of that? the devil? Now, um, Vanelli, if I can make a suggestion, finish burying Ralph so we can get on with this. Now, is that? Uh, I'll leave part of it hanging out. <laughs> Is that is that donkey that, no, that bike rack. donkey mounted above the fireplace or is it still sitting? Don't you don't dare the tell left. me that the zonkeys are mounted. It's to the left. It was in the house. There's a <laughs> albino zonkey head. It's the game room. <laughs> How dare you? I had a dream about Buttercup last night. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Gornak, Gornak was there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gornak was not the pleasant. whole time. Yeah, it was no fun. <laughs> He's scarred so, now. Uh, you guys uh, put the provisions down in the cellar. Leon starts to uh, roast his haunch of meat. Vanelli, uh, what kind of uh, services are you going to provide here? Are you going to set the table? What are you going to do? Uh, I yeah, I'm going to set a nice charcuterie for everyone. Nice. Uh, nice. That and I'm going to go. Oh, haggis! What a lovely treat! And slice it small. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, Beal, what are you bring Leon the table? a cup of spiked uh, little alcoholic uh, milk for him. <laughs> yeah. E eggnog. Yeah, egg yeah. Eggs nog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not eggs. Uh, uh, Leon's going to take one look at that and say, uh-uh. AJ, you're going to have to uh, play back uh, right before you got in to understand that joke. Because, oh, perfectly. Because Beal was out of the room, so I took liberties on the joke. <laughs> <laughs> I will be sure to play it back. Uh, so, okay, Leon's going to pass on your special milk. Um, you guys are going to go ahead and eat. Uh, thanks to the culinary skills of the HR department, the charcuterie tray has never looked better. Everything is great. You guys are going to relax, have a nice breakfast, watch the people start to filter around the streets. Uh, different vendors will go ahead and bypass and things of that nature. Uh, about nine o'clock, Gordak. <sighs> oh, wow. You wake up. Uh, the light is kind of high in the sky. You realize, oh, crap, you've overslept. You look over. Ralph is in the pile of friends, the friend, friend pile. Dog uh, pile. Oh, yeah, man. That, the friend pile sounds perfect. Yeah. It, well, you uh, were the bad you went event. to the bachelor's party. <laughs> <laughs> well, went in Rome. You were a big is. hit. Uh, so you two wake up. Uh, Ralph is uh, Ralph is in the bevy of ladies. Gornak is in the plush chair, uh, and it's about nine a.m. So it's a little bit rough, uh, but the ladies are still asleep. If you want to make a hasty escape, yeah, here. Ralph, you were not paying attention because of, of all the fandom you were reaping in. Uh, nobody likes Gornak. <laughs> no, they don't like me. I'm fine with yeah, that. Yeah, that sounds about right. But he did get a good night's sleep. I did. He got a good night's sleep. You are covered in shame and perspiration. <laughs> and, whatever, uh, and whatever spilled from that milking you were doing the night right. before. I was doing? Oh, I'm the, okay. Yeah, You're the milkman. 
So what do you two want to do? I want to go get my hacks because it's still in the shop. Your hat? Oh, that's right. I forgot. Yeah. yeah. I, I didn't forget. Uh, Ralph, nope. what do you want to do? <laughs> Uh, I assume we're still in the town. I would like to go visit a weapon shop before we have to go on our next adventure. Sure. Uh, as you guys get up, uh, Ralph, you look around and you realize you are in your skivvies. I better get dressed before I, I, I need to get dressed. I want to use, I want to get dressed quietly because I oh. know I have plate armor and I don't want it waking up. No, let me ask the question. DM, what is there in this building that he can dress in? Uh, dresses. You're in a tailor shop. Uh, uh, your your okay. stuff is across the plaza in an alley in a baker's shop. You hope. <laughs> okay, okay. If I'm going to have to wear a dress, I have priorities, and there's three. Okay. It's got a fit. I want it to have a good cut. And lastly, it's the, the print on the dress. I, sure. I don't yeah, want style. Oh, man, I yeah, thought he was going to say it's after September. I can't wear white. Okay. Yeah, you have, I, I don't have that concept of time. You have three uh, issues. Issue one, fit. <laughs> D12. All right, let's see what fits. D12. Roll D12. Ralph, you have to roll D12. Oh, eight. And you have to beat an eight. Seven. Uh, odd, small, even, big. Yeah, a little roomy. Your moo moo. Uh, let's see how. <laughs> let's see how daring it is with option number two. That's too bad. I had a slave boy tunic in mind. Five. Uh, it's got yeah. enough buttons. You can go ahead and show as much or as little cleavage as possible. Perfect. Uh, finally, let's test the print. Well, it's a print that you like. Uh, you are now Don Ho, Ralph. <laughs> it's a Hawaiian print buttoned up, uh, a little loose, but, you know, you get the wafty nature. I don't uh, get the Don Ho, but I'm really picturing Homer Simpson <laughs> right now. That's oh, what I'm yeah. picturing, oh, too. That's, Homer yeah, Simpson in a movie. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, that's <laughs> nice. We'll get to the stick. Uh, oh, you guys, perfect. You guys go downstairs. Oh, the light is very bright. It's 9 a.m. And over to your right, uh, that stage that was being built is built. And there seems to be a magnanimous celebratory thing going on. Gornak, your axe is to the right. Ralph, your shit is to the left. And the plaza is the home to the celebration. I was just about to say, I'd like to, uh, if I can't find my shit, I want to perform an inside check to see where it may have disappeared to. But you said it's to the right. I'm going to go pick it all up. Yours is to, did I say right? It should be left. Left. Uh, you said left. Uh, okay. Right, left. You know how I am with my right and left. That's true. Your stuff is. Good thing it's, it's a big circle. You'll get there eventually. Yeah, sooner or later. Uh, the armor shop is. Here, that's where the battle axe is. Uh, the baker's is here. That's where Ralph's crap's at. Yeah, as, as much as I love wearing this uh, Hawaiian print dress, I uh -huh. think I feel more comfortable with my own stuff. So I'm going to try to make my way there before heading to a weapon shop. <clears throat> sure, fair enough. Uh, is uh, Let's start with uh, B -b 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 Gornak. Uh, you want to go get your battle axe, or you want to go see what all the hubbub's about? I want to go get my battle axe. I don't care what the hubbub. Wait, is the hubbub look like a certain two people that I hired? Because if it doesn't, then I don't care. The two oh, no. people that I hired. You're late for that. <laughs> yeah, that's why I got to You were supposed to meet them at daybreak. That's daybreak. Yeah, it's 9 a.m. Daybreak-ish. This is a certain legendary caravan guard. Oh, God. No, I don't care. I'll pass it. Sick of Fair that enough. Uh, the, the mighty four, Leon, Barnum, Beale, and the HR department. Uh, what would you guys like to do? 
I'm going to eat breakfast. I'm going to board up my one window. Oh. It's about nine o'clock, and you notice a, a, a large stream of people moving throughout the city street. Uh, there seems to be an air of electricity, little hubbub, something about celebration, something about honoring, some crap like that. Uh, Barnum, as people wander by, uh, I'm going to poke my head out. Neighbor? Oh, so you're doing it from the inside? Oh, I no, I thought we were done with the wind. If I'm still working on the window, I'll be outside. Yeah, all right. So you're doing it. Neighbor? Neighbor? What's Don't going on? Don't celebration. Celebration's coming. What celebration? Oh, Hamish? Hamish. <laughs> Hamish, <laughs> Hamish is getting his due regards. You guys, uh, you guys know who Hamish is? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. He, no, the, hey, Mr. No, Mr. Tennyson is a hero, a true died in the wool hero. Yeah, yeah. His celebration's over at the plaza. As long as you believe he's a <clears throat> hero. Oh, well, he's, he's saved oh, everybody. I, I yell out for the back. Are they going to have free ale? Yeah, I don't think uh, there's going to be libations at all. Uh, I made uh, well, you. What I hear is it? Ha Hamish is uh, not a drinking man. <laughs> Something must have changed then. Well, I'll leave you to your uh, household repairs. Why, thank you, neighbor. Uh, you guys want to go to the celebration? Just say screw it. I'm going to walk over that way. I agree. I'm curious. I agree. I'd mm -hmm. like to see Hamish. I don't have a clue who Hamish is, but I know that... Uh, uh, at least one Leon or one uh, Leonid is contracted to be down in the catacombs and they're supposed to be Barnum and Beale are supposed to be down there as well as homeowners. I can remind them. Yeah. So that's what Vinali's intent is to remind folks that um, today's the day the magistrate has requested that the catacombs be uh, cleaned out. And we're don't you, aren't you HR for the caravan company? Yeah. Aren't you? Yeah. Then you ought to know who Hamish is, seeing as how you guys fired Hamish, mm -hmm. just like you fired the rest of us. That was another division. All <laughs> right. Nice, nice catch there. Maybe we ought to let Hamish know that you're here. <clears throat> oh, that'd be fine. So are you for going to the celebration, or are you going to go? Yeah, to I'm the, going. Uh, catacomb entrance. The okay. going to the catacombs. I'm I'm going to go with him to the catacomb entrance. I'm, I'm, I don't need to see Hamish. I know what Hamish looks like. I'm going to the catacomb entrance to see if uh, I want to go Gornak. one more time. Try to talk Gornak out of going down in there. I'm going in. What catacombs? Okay. Miss part owner, you don't have a choice. <laughs> it was your idea and you did it yourself I didn't do anything so are you disemboweling any ownership to this property and when I sit there my hands disappear <sighs> the catacomb entrance is behind the governmental of course building. it is so as you guys maneuver through you can see the uh, risers uh, Hamish Let's see if Hamish spots you guys. First off, uh, Gornak will be meandering through the area. Hamish doesn't see him at all. Good. You get that popcorn, please. With an 11, <clears throat> Hamish notices one, two, three, Vanelli. There is discernible eye contact as you pass by the riser from the legendary Hamish Tennyson. Big smile. Looks at you. You notice that your boss, Vanelli, is up on the riser praising the hardcore works of such a courageous individual. Uh, and of course, as the uh, accolades start to flow, uh, Hamish remembers, oh shit, I'm up on the riser. And Uh, gives the old uh, Queen Mum salute to everybody. Uh, you guys wander around the corner. Ralph, 
Uh, Ralph Ralphing? Judging from the smell of flour and crockery, uh, oh, that's right. They wrapped me in a burrito right before I got my ass kicked. Uh, you go down the alley, look around, and follow your nose, and you find the bakery. Uh, inside are several industrious halflings uh, covered in flour, uh, hurriedly making some kind of celebratory uh, Yin Tin's wedding cake, uh, small little white sugar coated cookies. Uh, you knock, knock, and enter, uh, and they are just back and forth, a whirlwind of activity. Uh, what do you want? Your order's not ready. I'm just here. I left some, <laughs> I left my uh satchel here last night, along with some of my clothing. It was last you know, night. Night. clothes last night. What are you talking I know, about? I was last here night? with. I was here with uh, Brenda, and she was showing me around, showing me the stuff, and you know what? she's, yeah, you know she's the uh, part-time Sunday afternoon person. Brenda, deception. you know she was here anyway. I, I don't, I don't, I'm not trying to cause any trouble. I'm just here to pick up my stuff. If you give me two minutes, I'll look around, I'll find it, I'll get out of your hair. You can go back to what you're doing. Give me a deception check on the part-time assistant. <laughs> Oh yeah! Oh, eighteen. Uh. I yeah. I, I don't know. HR never tells me anything. Is HR good for anything? No, uh, we clearly no. Not. Go go find your satchel thingy and just get stay out of our way. Yep, did you have, did. did you have a helmet? I did. D twelve against me. Oh <laughs> man. Three? Ah, two. Oh, uh, I did have a <laughs> I thought sure it was going to be a chamber pot. It was going to be a chamber pot, but now <laughs> they're using it to roll the dough in uh, it. Uh, but, uh, yeah, you, you find your stuff. Uh, it's it's over in the corner. There's a great big lip print <laughs> on your armor. Oh, yeah, that's mine. <laughs> you like kissing yourself? Here, have a Those cookie. Those aren't my lips. Thank <laughs> you for the cookie. I uh, will. I am going to change into it right here in the middle of the bakery. Nice. No shame. <laughs> they they don't care. They're halflings. They They're look at you and say, "Are you part halfling?" Hey, lady, you can't change oh. here. <laughs> and the wind is taken right out of my sails. <laughs> Uh, go ahead and throw me a con check. Let's see how you like the cookie. Uh, 10? Yeah, it's okay. That's a cookie. Uh, that'll work. You're all suited up, ready to go. What do you want? I want to go to a weapon shop. Uh, there is one. Or a pawn shop, either way. Uh, Preferably, uh, probably both, because I'm looking for a specific item on my way. Well, you guys have been an albino here. zonky head. Uh, no, it better not be an albino zonky head, a mounted albino zonky head. You have been here enough times in your tenure uh, that you know. Uh, uh, the X's are pawn shops. The checks are weapons shops. You got one more weapon shop, don't you? Oh, yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, I, I don't know what the rest of my party is doing. Nope, other you than have no cleaning. idea where they're at. No, no idea. So I just, I guess I'm going to hit, I'm going to start wherever I'm at, which I think is kind of at like the five o'clock position down by the pink house. You're right here. Yep, right about there. I'm going to start and just go counterclockwise right around until I get all the way down to the one at the six o'clock position. Uh, or if I find what I'm looking for. Okay, as you get into the weapon shop, uh, oh, hey, Ralph, what do you want? Hello, I'm looking for a dagger. What With kind a, of dagger? I'm looking for one that's got a dolphin handle to it, preferably with a scabbard. Do you have anything like that, or have you seen anything? Do you know if anybody in town has something like that? No, yeah, I've seen some mermaid daggers. Uh, it's not what well, you have. Mermaid yeah. daggers, you say? Pair, pair of them. Pair? 
Yeah. Really? Yep. Where? Where at? Do you have them here? Or? Yeah, no, they're over here at Ernie's, the six o'clock. Oh, I better head over to Ernie's. Leon, is that where you got it at? Okay. So, yeah, he, he, he had a pair of them. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna. It's been a few days, though. I don't know if he still has them or not. Ah, well, it doesn't hurt to go ask. So, I'm yeah. gonna make a beeline over there. Okay, you're gonna cut in through the alleyways. It's the fastest way. So, you are going to miss the presentation. Uh, Gornak the Mighty, you have arrived, and your axe has <laughs> never looked sharper. It is, he has done a wonderful job on this. Uh, and you notice that he has a bandage around his thumb. Uh, he goes, it's really sharp. Uh, is it sharp enough that if I were to just touch it, it would have slightly cut me? Or is it like I'd have to still use force? Uh, you can try it either way. I'll like rub my thumb up all against the side, like checking the uh, blade, not like pushing it on there. That's but one like, hit point of damage. You know what that is. All right. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. I go, wow, that's sharp. And I told it's like, you. should I put like a cloth around it or? Well, you know how to handle it. All right. Cool. I guess I do. I'll put it away and keep on walking. Uh, give me an investigation check. Got it. To see if you spot a loose cobblestone that you trip over and take your head off with your axe. Yep. Right. Uh, I was a 17 on investigation. Uh, you notice four of your associates, well, three of your associates of that pesky HR guy are going around the corner uh, just as you leave. Okay. Um, uh, I'll wave. I'll say, hey, and wave, and then be on my way to go to the spot where I think my associates are waiting. Behind the governmental office. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you go with the other four. Sure. Uh, the solid four, you notice uh, you found one of your associates. Still no idea where Ralph is. Ralph, uh, you get over to the main drag uh, and you find the weapon shop. Uh, what do you want to do? I'm going to go in. I'm going to hit up the proprietor again, asking for a dolphin-handled dagger. And, well, no. The first thing I'm going to ask about is the mermaid-handled daggers, which... Does he have them? No, oh, I had one, but I sold them to your Leonid friend. Ah, uh, yes. That's what I was afraid of. Do you happen to have any dolphin-handled daggers? Well, D20. Come on, natural 20. Fail. A six. <laughs> That's so natural. Dagger? No. I got a short sword. Oh, short sword. And the dolphin is the the the, the hand guard. Yeah, yeah. The, what is it's it? Made of a precious thing? metal of pewter. Is it made of pewter or is it made of a different precious metal? <laughs> uh, we call this tin. Ooh, how exotic. Very shiny. And here we have an acacia. <laughs> Uh, yeah, how much are you looking for for that? Oh, I could part with this for uh, less than what? seven gold. Yeah, seven gold Whew. Uh, for this. This is a fine weapon. This shines in the light. Seven gold. Are, I'll you give can you use three. it to blind people. Give yeah, me a special gemstones found okay. right here in town. Give me a persuasion. Nineteen. That's where I rolled it. <laughs> Uh, I can do it for four. Uh, four for this? Fine, four. <laughs> you got yourself a uh, dolphin short sword made of tin. <laughs> you realize this is a cursed weapon, right? <laughs> I did not realize that. I'm hoping to trade it for a mermaid dagger. Crit critical fail well, is I'm, one I'm, That was supposed two. to be just between me and the DM. That was supposed <laughs> to be between me and the DM. So there you go. <laughs> what else you want to look for? Nope, found it. Found what I came for. I'm ready to go. As you walk outside, you notice the main drag there clearly goes right to the plaza. There seems to be some kind of celebration going on. <clears throat> That's my I'm going to look around and see what's going on, take in some of the sights, and maybe try to 
I heard earlier that there may or may not be food and libations being distributed. I might take partake in some of them. Sure. Uh, as you come up from the backside of it, uh, the celebration is just now ending, but you recognize uh, the individual on the riser as Hamish Tennyson. Uh, the crowd appears to be uh, in great adulation yeah, of this man. Oh. Apparently, whatever was said was uh, very good. And since he's not in chains, you can safely assume that uh, his bullshit story of stopping the uh, carnage has been accepted. Yeah, I'm going to roll my eyes and just, okay, well, whatever. Look, oh. Continue looking for food and someone in my party. Uh, you, I, yeah, go on. You see several uh, mm -hmm. wagons uh, from farmers and other food distributors. There's no supply sh uh, chain mm -hmm. shortage here in Yintons, uh, but they are preoccupied with celebrations. So if you come around the yeah, backside, yeah. you might be able to mm -hmm. uh, tear off a, a haunch or two for free. Yeah, that's that's what I'm going to do. I'm hungry. Give me a deception <laughs> check. Uh, 13. Yeah, so they're, they're now on half of the day. 19. Oi! Uh... You wouldn't be a thief, oh, would you? Me? No, 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 no. Of course I'm not a thief. I'm here partaking in the celebration of Hamish the Great. Oh, you're, yeah. you're going to be paying for that. Give me a Of course. Shot. Of course. And my associates were the, they were just here. They have a tab already open with you. Uh -huh. And I am sure that they will settle with you at the end of the celebration. Please, my my friend, add it to our tab. I'll take Hail deception. Hamish! De deception check again. <laughs> deception and perception. Yeah. It was a one. You've got that kind of wow. stuff, John. And what's your perception so check? Oh, boy. The perception uh -huh. is a 14. Uh, you notice he is waving a mermaid dagger at you. I will say, oh, oh, yeah. oi, 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 there, oh. prick. Uh, I don't do tabs. I do Fanta and Pepsi. No ah, tab ah. here. You owe me money, and you need to pay up. Hold the phone. Let me inquire about that. What is this you phone have? thing? <laughs> <laughs> Might I, I inquire RPG. about that dagger that you have there? That is a, a fine instrument. You're the second person to ask me about that dagger. It is. It cuts well. And might I say that short sword of yours is very nice as well. Ah, you it's like it. Let me very ask. shiny. It, yes, indeed. It is, it is the finest instrument this side of Bilbar. Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember where we were at before this. Anyway, are you oh, open to a true... Perhaps I could settle my debt with a trade. Yes. Mm -hmm. This What's dagger the... is clearly, or this short sword is clearly worth more oh, than wow. the nice. uh, meat that I cut off. Yet mm -hmm. that mermaid dagger might, you know, could we could we Take trade? I'll time. call it even I'm right now. Huh. D12 against me. Come on, baby. Mm -hmm. 11. Do you have any money on you? Oh, I'm so bad about that. I feel like my friend. If anything, I should be asking you for extra money because have you seen this sword? Look at this fine instrument. Look at how shiny this is. You don't get such a fine polish on low quality alloys. He asks if he can handle the weapon. Ah, yes. But I might ask. <laughs> Do you have a glove that you could handle it? Because it the oils from your finger could potentially tarnish the polish on it. He looks at a chainmail gauntlet that he uses so that he doesn't cut off any digits. Chainmail, my friend. You can't handle a, a weapon of this caliber with chainmail. You need velvet. Do you have any velvet on you? Do I have any velvet? <laughs> Let's roll into my bag and find out. Natural 20. 
Uh, uh, you have a velvet handkerchief that smells of heavy perfume. I'm going to take that, place the velvet handkerchief oh, in yeah. his hand, and then I will place the sword into his hand. He takes it, throws the tarp over, and slides it right through uh, a big, great big old haunch. Cuts it off nice and clean, but it kind of squirts out some meat juice all over the velvet. Takes the velvet, hands the handkerchief back to you, and hands over the dagger, and he says, our deal is complete. Well, it was a pleasure. I hope you will enjoy your sword. I'm sure uh, Nine Fingers, is gonna, you're going to meet him in the future. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is complete. He goes, uh, you made a better deal than your friend did. My friend? Mm -hmm. Ah, which way did... You've seen him? Yeah, they're in their house. In their house? Ah, of course. What? Silly me. Why would I not forget... It? Or why would I forget to check their house? And if you could just point me in the direction of well, their it, it's, it's a block over there, but I just saw him go around the building. Around the building, you say? Ah, yes. Thank you. I will head out and look for my friends. Uh, Leon, Gornak, Barnum, Beal, Vanali. Uh, you have reached the back end. There is a grate here. Vanali will go ahead and explain that this is the entrance. And woohoo, I have a key. Unlock it. Yeah, but it's got Gornak. You sure I can't quiet. talk you out of this? Nope, I'm getting paid well. I yeah, think I you might be getting paid well, but I don't trust this slimy little Vanali bean. Vanali, roll an investigation check for me, please. It'll be fine, like the people in Greenland say. It'll be fine. Uh, Nineteen. Uh, as you lean down with your key, you notice uh, this padlock's already open. I thought I killed it. I really thought it did. Oh, yeah. uh, he won't. <coughs> so Vanelli just shrugged it off and go, well, that's one less job to do and yeah, tuck the key away. And he goes, swing it open, big wide display. And then, uh, there you go, Gornak, team leader. Lead away. That's right. I'm walking in, baby. Uh, you notice that uh, the descent is done by iron like rings. Go ahead and give me a dexterity check or slip and fall. Got it. Yeah, but even what happened when I turned it over, apparently, some it, just oh, I'm blind. I don't know if the kid's not here. That's it. That no, was almost a 20. That's a 10. Uh, yeah. It's a little damp for some reason. You aren't sure why, but you do make it down to the bottom. Uh, there's a thin layer of moisture down there. Who goes down number two? <laughs> I guess I'm going to follow him in. Dexterity. That's uh, 18 and 220, dirty 20. Third? Go ahead, Beal. Dexterity. Oh. Just hit that plus two. I know. Do you? Do you? Twelve. Fourth. Oh. I have a crappy. Barnum or Vanali. Seven. Down he goes. Uh, Beal. Make a dexterity dodge or get crushed by the cleric. Does that mean I just got hit? Uh, you fell, uh, cutting your chin open on one of the rungs, taking four hit points of damage. And do you land on Beal or not? Roll that number. Roll two. Two points? Just roll it once. Nat 20. Uh, she puts her arms out to catch you and then... <laughs> predictable, sir. I saw that one coming. Yep. Uh, and... <laughs> And you hit the pavement. Yeah, you just like now. You now you have the Kirk Douglas chin. Uh, Vanali, you stand above them. It has Do I have to make a roll for damage or for hit? No, you got four hit points. 
I just didn't know if I went crazy. See, did he go bonkers? Uh, yeah, make your roll. Make your roll. Hold on. Because you're taking damage. And is Ralph down the tunnel yet? Uh, Ralph is nowhere to be seen. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ralph is still missing. He hasn't caught up to us. I don't know where he is yet. I am up on the surface eating food and admiring my new mermaid deck. Read it out loud so Frank can enjoy this one. Oh. The affected person sincerely believes that they can cast the wish spell at will. What the heck? I don't think I said that. And right. tries to cast it frequently. I grant wish wishes. <clears throat> Fair enough. There. <laughs> Boy, I wish I knew where Ralph was. <laughs> I can tell you! Uh, so, Barnum uses his magical ability and says, not here. <laughs> <laughs> so, Vanali, are you going to go down or no? Uh, is it dark down there? Because I can't see in the dark. So It is, it is dark. However, uh, Gornak would have found torches right there close. All right. So, Gornak, you've lit torches down there? Yes, because I can't see otherwise. I know. That's why I'm asking. What do I got to roll? Uh, there are four torches down there to light it. I can't. Wait, can I light it? Honey, you, you cast a spell that creates light. It's I not can. flame. I know. It's saying light a torch, Gornak. Uh, or you can that. use the magical uh, light. It's your hey, magic. I'll take a torch or reliable. So I'll have to like use performance to Sophie. light it. Or... Yeah. Beal, touch the tip of his torch. Okay. No, you just touch it. Boop! I touched it. It's it. You cast. You cast light at will. So you just touch it, and it's now lit for like an hour. Uh, you guys are in a large, centrally located kind of hollowed out area, maybe a bomb shelter looking thing. Uh, and you notice there are three exits from this room. One takes you uh, oh. to east. One takes you southwest, and one takes you south. Well, Bernack, you're in charge, dude. Yeah. All right. Any, yeah. many, my We're We're going to die. Go into the right, you said? Yep. I just decided. Uh, uh, southwest. So let's all go left. <laughs> right is always right. So now we need to go right. So he's going kind of southeast or east, due east. Uh, as you do so, uh, you notice that the bomb shelter thing changes from carved stone to rough hewn stone. And there's a, there's a kind of a nasty smell here. Ralph, uh, as you follow the directions from the butcher, you pass by the riser. Does Hamish see you? Oi, Ralph. Ralph, Ralph, my friend Ralph. Uh, now everybody's kind of looking in the same direction and looking at you. And somebody comes up and tugs. Hey, Hamish, oh, hey, I didn't see you up there on the main stage with everyone pointing at you. <laughs> Come to me, Ralph. It's been too long. Uh, yes, hello, how have you been? I have done. I have been well. Puts his arm around you, shakes his hand vigorously, kind of gives you a tight one. He goes, ah, ah, "Where are those friends of yours? I haven't seen in forever." Ah, uh, that's a good question. I'm actually looking <clears> for <throat> them myself. You haven't seen them around here, have you? Obviously, based on your last comment, <laughs> I, I have not. I, I saw that rat bastard Vanelli, HR guy, yes. fired my ass. I know. I ever get a hold uh, of him, I'm going to wring his neck. <laughs> bring him on down. Bring him on down. You don't say. <laughs> Hamish, you know, perhaps you and I are not so different. <laughs> what uh, What brings you to town, Rolf? Ah, we were just... I actually can't remember. <laughs> we were... <laughs> you were done with the mountain. Uh, yeah, I guess we... We're just resting in between adventures. What about you? After last night, why? Everything. I, I, I generously saved the uh, caravan 
And that is the only thing you need to remember. <laughs> Loud and clear. Nat 20 on the intimidation. Nat, nat 20. <laughs> it's like Ralph grabbed your head and pointed it down there. Ralph, I'm not going to tell you what I just got a whip of down in the catacombs, but it came from you. Yeah, that oh boy. Uh, oh yes, Hamish. Ah, yes, that is all I will I will be sure to remember that and only that. Good, good, my friend. You if you ever find your friends, <laughs> you tell them the same thing. <laughs> oh, I'm sure I won't be forgetting that anytime soon. If yeah, you but... happen to see my friends, let them know I am looking for them. Oh, I'll pass along that message. Uh, the magistrate comes over, Hamish, 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 come, come with me, come with me, uh, sir, uh, come with me. And Hamish uh, starts to walk away and Hamish goes. <laughs> you see uh, one of the girls uh, from last night, uh, we'll say the, uh, the mean one, the brunette. Well, you got up awful early. <laughs> Well, I had to go find uh, electrolytes. I had clearly... Is that what your friend's name is? I think I saw him go around the corner. Really? Which way? That way over there? That way right around the government building. Ah, uh, yes. It was, was it the, the, the short friend? Kind of... It's the ugly oh, one. The ugly oh, one. Oh, oh thank you. Yes, I was going to say the... Uh, not photogenic one. Right. The one that looks like a cat that's been in too many fights and that, then that's, beaten that's, to death by a dog. That guy? Yes. Kind of has a that, smell about him. Uh, I was going to say, yes, you can't forget the smell. Of course there's the smell. That's right. Vanelli, yeah, uh, yeah right around the corner. Vanelli, uh, you have easily slid down the uh, iron rod stair. You join the rest of them as they are going to the left. Uh, you did say left, correct, Gornak, or right? He said right. Right? I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, he, he's going in the other direction. Uh, so you guys head off in the southwest. My apologies. And yes, uh, the car stone... I thought you said we were going to the east. Yeah, that was my fault. Because he said right, and I, I was looking at my right, not his, as you guys are coming now. Uh, so as you guys go in, you notice that this is all cavernish. Uh, natural uh, pockets. Uh, this is a limestone area, yeah, well, uh, and it looks like whoever designed this—I don't know—gulag looking thing. Uh, they just hammered it onto some natural formed caves here. Uh, everybody, give me investigation except for Rolf. Investigation. There. So oh, if I rolled a eighteen, 14. baby. Bad. I'm rolling myself. It's not bad. It's a 30 20. Okay, I'm rolling myself. I rolled. I rolled a four. Okay, I'm rolling myself. That fall really messed me up. Dirty 20. Sorry. Just click right here. Yeah, you rolled so much better than me. She rolled Eight. four. <laughs> wow. Uh, Barnum and Beal, you don't notice anything. Everybody else notices. Uh, Scuff marks, an old torch, uh, and maybe a copper piece or two down here. Ooh, copper. I will collect copper. Uh, as you continue forward, uh, you pass over a naturally flowing river. Uh, it cuts just underneath a little rock bridge. Uh, there is some phosphorescent lichens here that give off a light greenish hue. Uh, probably due to the water, maybe. You aren't quite sure of that. Uh, and it opens up into a larger cave uh, that goes to your right, your left, or straight ahead. Uh, you also notice uh, a torch setting in the middle of this floor. Is it pointing to one of the rooms? It is not, but it is just burned out. It was so it's is still it warm. Yeah. Which room is it? Which, uh, not room, but which uh, doorway is the closest to? All equal distance. Wow, this guy dropped it real well. Oh, examine the floor leading into these different areas for any signs. 
Uh, you notice a lot of stalactites, stalagmite uh, joining some rock curtain walls here. Uh, really closes off the area, but give me your investigation check. Um, Would you like me to grant your wish on which direction that they went? I can grant that wish. 16. <laughs> Barnum, it will be either left, right, or straight on, as you second. grant your wish. Yes. Uh, Leon, uh, looks like recent passing to the right. Three. So that would be left. The left side is where they went. Your wish has been granted. I would say we're, we should go to the right. Fair enough. Uh, as you guys go to the right, you see a uh, dim torchlight and hear voices. I hear voices anyways. You just hear more of them. I'm going to tell her, shush everybody and just kind of whisper that back. Give me a stealth roll, Leon. Yeah, she, she, wanted, she was calling on Alexa. She wanted to know. I'll say, this is the most heavily armored group ever. Uh, hey, everybody's in yeah. place. 14. Yeah, you aren't very stealthy. The voices stop. I'm going to hold my hand up to get everybody else to stop behind me. All of the torch light ahead of you goes out. That's all right. I can see in the dark. I'm going to keep moving forward quietly. Sure. Uh, as you creep forward, uh, does everybody else keep their torches? I didn't have one. Okay. Uh, I need please, both my hands to grant wishes. Uh, that's true. Please note that uh, dark vision is just like a 90s security camera. So you don't see yep. in the dark, but you do see some things. Uh, as you enter, this looks like an irregularly shaped, possibly triangular cave. Uh, it has several items of note in here uh, boxes, bags, rock formations. And give me a perception check. Deal. Perception. Oh. Um, 14. Yeah. Second. Oh, that was well, a bad roll anyway. 10. 17. Yeah. And, and like, just... Well, Beal doesn't have... Beal, do you have dark vision? Yeah. Okay. And what's your roll? Uh, she rolled a nine. Don't see or hear anything. Leon, uh, something just moved in and to the left. Yeah, because remember Jason came down and brought me in. Okay. okay. Um, how close, Beal, how close are you to me? So, yeah, we did all that yesterday. Uh, uh, most of, this is Kate. How wide is the cave? Enough where we can stand shoulder to shoulder? Are we too wide or? I, didn't, uh, I don't remember it, hearing. It's about 15 feet wide. Okay. So about three of you. Big, big. But I figured Gornak was in the lead. <clears throat> I'm going to get out a torch. Up there now. And then I figure it's probably us. And then it sounds like Vanilla. Were you bringing up the rear? Yeah. And I didn't move forward at all um, with everybody else because you guys wanted to douse lights to go up there. I can't see in the dark. There's no way I would have put my torch out to move up. I didn't yeah. move up. I can't see a damn thing. Yeah. Gor Gornak, do you still have your torch or not? He still got his torch. Well, his torch is uh, magically lit too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna slip back to Gornak and get out a torch and light a torch off of Gornak's and throw it forward. Gornak's not a lit, lit torch; it's magic it's light. Lit. You have to, you have to light it off of someone else's torch. I can throw. Oh, it okay. For, I can throw it forward. I'll just get a torch out and light it with flint steel and throw it up ahead. Uh, or I could throw his just the same. Yeah. Direct message. Uh, okay, so you're going to throw one of the non magically lit torches, correct? Fair yes. enough. Uh, give me a D6 roll. Let's see how far you throw it. Righty hook, D6. Yep. Got it. That's a five. Uh, you throw it 50 feet in uh, and you illuminate. Five people with bows. As you do so, uh, if they're level one, we're dead. Leon, Barnum, Beale, you hear a sizzling noise and you notice a line of sparkling light 
<laughs> is moving around the perimeter of the cave uh, from the opposite side of where these five people are. Give me an investigation check, you three, for what's about to happen. Okay. Well, I rolled an 11. I just closed yeah. 12. Okay. Mm -hmm. One sec. I closed her character. I apologize. You are. Way to go. Mm -hmm. All right. What's she rolling again? Investigation? Yep. There you go. Plus zero. So I'm going to fail, just so you know. You might roll net 20. Oh. I might. But I'm not. She rolled a nine. Because she knows how many you dying inside. Leon, you keep an eye out on this serpentine trail of sparklies. Thornak, you're focused on the five. Beal, you're focused on the five. Leon, you notice that sparkly line is going right through a heap of black ash. Give me an insight check, Leon. Oh, oh man. Uh, 19 and 3, 22. Yeah, this is not a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I figured. What? I'm going to yell at everybody to hit the dirt. Get down. Shut up. Get down. Uh, thanks, Lieutenant Dan. Everybody roll initiative, including Ralph, who has found his way down there, but at the back with Vanille. Wow. Vanille's 10. Uh, Ralph is 16. 16. Three die 20. 10 for me. Was it a straight die 20? No, it's no, it's initiative. initiative. Yeah. Ten. Oh. We have three people with ten. I got a six. Woo. We're I both ten. I got a seventeen. <laughs> oh, so uh, the five immediately throw arrows. Uh, oh, if they throw them, I'm not worried at all. I ain't either. <laughs> First one is five. Ralph, thanks for joining. Four, Gornak. Two, uh, Beal. Two, Beal. Six, Vanali. So, oh, did you, did you put two on Beal. Uh, 13 plus two, 15. 19 plus two, 21. She's only at 12 until she caches her armor. Let's use the murder hobo dice. <laughs> oh! One murder hobo, one, one. Seven hit points of damage as one of them strikes true. Gornak, 17 plus two. Two hit points of damage. Oh, Ralph, hey guys, what's going on? First thing I do. Boom, an arrow goes flying over your head. Ooh. And Vanali. Six. Boom! Uh, Vanali turns to Ralph and says, uh, they're shooting arrows at us. At this same time, everybody but Leon, roll perception. Or your perception. 12 or better. I have it. I have him. I got a 14. Okay, you hear. Ralph, what was yours? Uh, 15. Yeah. Ralph hears. Vanali? 19. Hears Barnum. Don't hear shit. Well, see, in your Gornak. Yours is probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's tiny. Roll for Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn that TV off. Yeah, Kathy and Frank up. It's a natural one. They, <laughs> oh! so they put up. That makes mine look good. Yeah. Barnum, the voices in your head it, um, collide with Leon's know, warning. Gornak. You don't hear so shit. Easy. Everybody else hears Leon say, get out. Did you send it? Everybody who passes drops down the sizzle, hits that pile, and kaboom. Oh, yeah. uh, 2d6 at those not on the ground. And I was in the front oh, as well. Wow, so. that's yep. pretty. Seven that's hit good. points of damage to Gornak, seven hit oh, points yeah, to really Barnum. Uh, 
16. Leon, you are up. Yeah, that is nice. Yeah. Uh, and you say they're how far away? Uh, I think I have the five are at the back. Two more are coming in, and one of them is wearing shiny armor. Uh, so you coming in from behind us? The other side. The other side. How far so, away is it, though? I, I'm trying to judge. You got the two, the two at 15 feet hiding behind the uh, rock and the boxes, and the five regulars yeah, the near the back of the cave at 50 feet. Is, 50 feet. So I'll go after so five the, at 50. <laughs> Two at 15. Few, I'm going at, at the two at 15. Okay. Uh, the things that tip me out. And for the last 20 years, we've been. Let's uh, see. Every time I don't we remember go how to do this. Christmas shopping, we pick a bulb, you know, and I'm going to attack. Different places that we've gone. Like with my battle axes. South the one in shiny armor. Okay. <laughs> one in shiny armor and one without armor? Or am I? One from the others are all wearing leather and shield. Okay. Oh. And they're all wearing olive green. Lovely. First, first, first one's an 18. Um, that hits? Yeah. Second one's an 18. Both oh, hits. actually, it's yeah. more than that. 25 uh, and 25. I'm sorry. I forgot my bonus. 17's your uh, like ceiling, so you're good. Number. All right. That's uh, one die eight plus five. Hold on, Sophia's calling. Trying to find my. There we go. Hi, honey. Uh, six, five is 11, and four and five oh. is nine. 20 points. Nice. Uh, and I'm going to rage. Okay. Uh, next up are the tens Barnum, Beal, Vanali. You have five at 50 feet in the back of the cave with arrows. You have two. One of them is engaged with Leon. At 15. Good there. Okay, bye. Sorry. I was uh, muting a loud background noise. Oh, that's fine. I'm oh. I'm open to the three tens. So Vanali, Barnum, and Beal. So okay, uh, well, I'm ahead. going to cast I need to cast cast mage armor. That's right, mage armor. Cast mage armor. Yeah. Okay, and then I'm going to cast uh, Shield of Faith on her. Why? Why? Because that takes you from a 15 to a 17. Ooh. Fair enough. V Vanille? Vanally? Sorry. Uh, no, Vanilla that, Bean? Right. Vanally is going to cast Magic Missile, and I, I can attack more than one target with that, right? Yep. Okay. Three, uh, three of them at first level, unless you upcast. I'm going to upcast it to a second level so I can do four. Okay. So I'm gonna. Uh, and those are auto hits, right? So yep. I'm gonna take the the five that are at fifty. I'm gonna target two of them. So this okay. is the first missiles against the first one. Three, four, seven points against one. Yep. And the other is going to get woo nine points. Nice. Uh, somebody brought their A game. Uh, that drops us down to the six. You know what? I forgot the other sixteen. Ralph. Sorry. I, that's what I was wondering. I was like, wait, am I not in yeah. combat or yet? Or no, my bad. I, 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 I a Maybe if you had a shiny tin sword, he'd have remembered you. <laughs> well, I've got this kick-ass mermaid dagger, and he still forgot me. <laughs> You're up, Ralph, and then we'll go right. over to Gornak. I don't think I'm in melee range of anything, am I? You'll have to run up because they are 15 feet away, and you were in the second row. So if you get uh, two attacks, you only get one. Nope, I'm gonna use my crossbow, sure, my light crossbow. Oh, no. and I will target whoever I can see. Five in the back, two up front. One of the ones up front seems okay. like an easy one. AJ shooting somebody that usually means uh, 11 to hit. Yeah, uh, nope, uh, it sticks in their leather armor, nope, or their shield. Uh, Gornak the Mighty, you are up. All righty. Uh, is it, who's closest to me? They're all they all shot arrows, right? Uh, the one in big armor with Leon, or the one with the bolt sticking out of his leather. I will go for the big guy and help okay. Leon. I will go <clears throat> to a rage because I think I need to do that so I can actually hit him. 
Um, I'm gonna hit it with my great axe. Shiny natural twenty. Sharp. See, there you go. That's why you uh, sharpen those weapons, boys and girls. Mm -hmm. Natural twenty. Damage. That is a twenty crit. That was very nice. Twenty damage. Yeah, but it says crit above it, so I'm just guessing it just does twenty. Nice. Yeah, that hurts him. Uh, new round, orphan leader, odd even, odd being Leon. One, he will go after you. Uh, he whips out his greatsword. He gets two attacks. Uh, 17 and a one. Uh, so 21 and a five. Uh, I'm going to... I want to attempt to block that with my tail. Ooh, that's a great sword. <laughs> Good mare. Okay. Uh, so that's seven to my armor class makes my armor class 23. Uh, that is successfully blocked. Uh, the other one takes his liberties on Gornak. Uh, seven and 12 plus four. Does a 16 get you, Gornak? 16 is my AC, so yes. Uh, 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 uh. Woo, Murder Hobo, take eight hit points of damage. I'm going to punch him uh, in the gonads. The five, first one shoots at Barnum. Leon. Gornak. Hmm. Gornak. Yeah. And Ralph. <laughs> so Leon, 12 plus 4, 16. Yep, that hits. I'm take, right at right at 16. Take four hit points of damage. Uh Barnum. 17 plus 4. Take two hit points of damage. Gornak, you got two. Plus. Uh, 12 and a 2, so 16. 16 damage? No, 16 hit. to hit. Oh, yes, it hits. It's like 16 damage? No. 4, and last but certainly not least, Rolf. 2 plus 4 is 6. Uh, that was pretty painful. 16s, Ralph and Leon. Oh, Good also, thing I slept the 5 them. are moving up. All right, I'm going to take. Yeah, it's a natural 20 and a 14 plus 7, 21. <clears throat> okay. So 27 and 21, basically. Both hit? Yep. And with an 8, I do not. So. Ah, ah, that was ah. <laughs> 14. And then. No, I don't. Do I add, still? I don't. On a natural 20, do I. Add? Damage, damage modifier. Okay, so that's 8 and 14, 22. Yeah, we had <laughs> well, four. That was it, the first. Oh, so he's down. I don't even have to roll the other one. Yeah, he's down. Okay. Uh, the tens, Barnum, Beal, Vanali. I'm going to cast Animate. There's a dead corpse there now, isn't there? Some Correct. Bones or something. I'm casting Animate Dead. Okay. Uh, how many hit dice do you give him back? Two or one? That's what I was trying to find. Creature spells. I was reading when you called it into me. I've never actually looked at it. I keep reading Beal and Vanali. Okay. Go ahead with them, yes. I need this. I'm going to cast May uh, not Major Armor. Eldritch Blast on... Well, we have five coming at us right now, right? I have five coming at you. One of them is already on Gornak. There you go. Okay. I want to hit one of the five. Sure. An Eldritch Blast of 21. Oh, yeah. Damage. And damage. 15. 15. Uh, you drop him. Yeah. He has just got a 
Ooh. boiling hole in his chest, and he is flung backwards. Finale. <laughs> Ooh, that was loud. Thank you. Yeah. I'm happy. I could hear it from Just the other me. room. Really? Muted. Yeah. Muted. Okay, Jason. Let me help you, Frankie. The five that are moving forward. Four uh, now, but yeah. Four. <laughs> so we have. Uh, was one of the ones the one she killed or the was killed? Was that one of the ones I attacked with magic missile? No, it was not. You got uh-huh. one and two. Okay. She got number five. So I'm going to hit three and four. Okay. So I'm going to cast chromatic orb as acid damage, and I'm going to twin it with a sor- with a point of sorcerer's point. Sure. Do I get a save on that one? Uh, or do you just have to hit? It's me? attack. It's a range attack. To hit them. Them. So if I hit them, I'm great. If I miss, it sucks big time. Natural 20. I would say that hits. Um, and it does three die eight damage. Ooh, that's not going to be pretty. So it's, uh, <coughs> got, we got to melt them. Well, I, I did say acid. So I know. Uh, with a spell attack, do I get damage, damage, damage? Just straight damage? Mm-hmm. But not max damage, just roll damage? Correct. But I, you know what? I'll give you no ones. No ones. Okay. Got to be some benefit on that. <laughs> I rolled two ones already. Uh, 15 on the first one. Dead. And 22 on the second one. Dead. Uh, they melt away, causing the other two to look in horror at what has just happened. Gornak the Mighty. Uh, Gornak, you have a problem. Uh, Leon just totally wasted the guy in heavy armor. The guy next to him is kicking your ass. Uh And the guy in heavy armor is getting up anyway. I'm going to attack the guy attacking me currently. That seems like a bigger problem. I'll try again. That was going to be a one. I was going to be like, makes sense. I got 12. 12 hits. Good. Ah, there six we go. damage. What does it do? Still alive. Okay, what do you got there, Barnum? Well, basically, I just created a zombie. Cool. Oh, nice. So, uh, is he under your control, though? Under my control for 24 hours. Fair enough. Uh, my turn. Uh, the two guys at the back who were approaching both throw down their bows. Hey, guys, it's just us. <laughs> Didn't know it was you. Uh, <laughs> Didn't we get advantage uh, 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 on the next attack against those two? These are the clowns that were in the house. Yeah, if you want to take advantage, I mean, they are unarmed. Uh, oops, sorry. <laughs> well, the way I see it, I'm not in the prisoner taking business, I'm in the killing business. <laughs> So business is a booming. Uh, well, okay, so so can we get you, that on a t-shirt? Yeah, you, yeah. I'm in the killing business. <laughs> business is booming. Uh, Ralph and Leon, you have the 16, so yes, you guys will go at the same time. So if you're gonna go on a killing spree, go right ahead. Well, that, the one that's fighting Frankie's not laying down his arms. Oh, that's right. There is still one active combat. Yeah, I'm. I'm Which gonna one? smack. I'm gonna hey, smack. Hey, him. Hold on. Before that happens, he gets to attack. So I forgot about that. Yeah. Uh. 16 and a nat 20, so nat 20 and a dirty 20. Uh, here comes the pain, Frankie. Uh, Three hit points, not so much pain. <laughs> now, now there are two surrender monkeys and one guy slicing up Gornak. I'm going to hit the one slicing up Gornak. Sure. I didn't hit him with that well. Wait a minute. 20? That hits. And 21, dirty. Yeah, this guy only has AC 12. Uh, there is a zombie in front of you, by the way. Well, I, I, zombie schmombie, I'll get to him in a minute. But this one's about to kill Gornak, so in my eyes. Sure. My friend, King Julian. And that is uh, 10, 15 for the first hit. And... 10 for the second, 25 points. Uh, 
He spits blood from his mouth, drops to his knees, and keels face down in front of you next to the zombie. Uh, uh, Ralph, uh, you got a zombie and you got two surrender monkeys. I'm definitely going to attack one of the surrenders. Does it cost an action to switch weapons? I'll give it to you. All right, then I'm going to switch to my great axe and hopefully be able to hit something. And I'm not with a nine. Yeah, what a they, aren't, they, they aren't close now. Uh, <laughs> so you do the evil samurai. Uh, whatever. Right, yeah. The three tens, Vinali, Barnum, and Beale. I'm going to scream out with my, uh, I don't know how to say it. It's uh, the voice. Uh, it? Th- Where is it? Hey, well, hold on a second. Did I hit you last round? Yeah. Yeah, that means a roll. <laughs> uh, this right. is not going to go well. Well, we could roll dice. Not when he's got a zombie in his control, it's not. Three. It's odd on chart. Oh, no, that means we're rolling to see what happens. And it's a six. The affected has an unnatural obsession with blood and wishes to bathe in it in the glory of battle. Oh, my God. Uh, wow. Uh, that means Barnum runs up and rolls around like a cat or a puppy in manure uh, in the blood of Gornak's enemy. Oh, no, wait. He's not dead yet. <laughs> I was like he's attacking the two guys who tried to surrender. Can I attack Barnum? Well, I already planned on that. I was going to Use my uh, uh, thermogery or whatever it's called. Thermogery. Yeah. Actually, wait a minute, uh, Leon. You did kill that guy, didn't you? Yeah, I did. He, you said he went to his knees and collapsed. Yeah. So Barnum, you run up and just roll around in it like you're a dog that's found something stinky. Tackling uh, and laughing hysterically. Sure, Beal and Vanali. That leaves us with you. Uh, two surrender monkeys in front of you. Hey guys, just us. Sorry, didn't know it was you. I'm uh, casting vicious mockery on whichever one said, hey, didn't know it was you. Uh, Odd even. Uh, It would have been Franklin the Blonde. No, I like Franklin. Uh, 13. 15 on the roll. I I, I can't hear you. It's a little echoey here. Uh, Beal, what do you want to do? (laughs) That sounded like a little vicious mockery to me. I did. <laughs> coming, coming back around. I got shocked and grasped as soon as he's in melee range. Neil, what do you want to do? Don't hurt Franklin. Say, you want to what? <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know. Are you attacking one of them or are you no, not? No, I'm not attacking. I'm not she attacking. doesn't want to attack the surrenderers. No. What? Gordak the Mighty. Franklin. Or, are you Franklin. Yes, yes, my dear. Gornak? Me. I got no worries here. What are you going to do, Gornak? Well, I don't have any. I guess I'll loot the bodies. I'll, has anybody looted you them can loot the You can loot the body in front of you. I'm going to loot the zombie. Okay. Uh, once I, Gornak, that, once I knock it down. Gornak, give me a perception check, please. Jesus. I don't hear you volunteering to loot the bodies. I, 15. I out. Uh, 15, you realize that your hand is currently in Barnum's pocket and switch over to the other pocket. <laughs> he just, he's rolling around in the blood in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> the blood. The blood is everywhere. New round. Uh, Franklin and Bash walk another five feet. Drop to their knees. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. <laughs> In their <laughs> best, best Wayne's World attempt. Uh, Leon? Ralph? I got a zombie in front of me, right? Yep. I'm attacking. Okay. AC oh, 10. I'm attacking those surrender monkeys. <laughs> they, it's not uh, even a 10. It's an 8. Oh. <laughs> 8. 10 to hit the uh, prostated. Uh, 24 and 25. Oh, yeah. You're going to blast this zombie in half. Because it only has, what, eight hit points? 22. Oh, okay. That's uh, 10, That's 12, 12, and 12, 24 points. 
Dad. That's exactly as much as Ralph. Uh, Ralph, what do you want to do with the prostated ones? Frank oh, I'm back. definitely attacking. I'm not in the prisoner taking business. And with a 22, I believe I hit you have. for 11 damage. Uh, that is going to kill Bash. Oh, uh, he's a good one. No, I'm like <laughs> The only good one is a dead one. The Franken. Uh, the that Franken. brings us to the tens. Uh, the Barnum. Barnum. <laughs> Boy, and, uh, somebody woke up on the wrong side of the bakery table, didn't they? Uh, yes, indeed. I. How close is he? Uh, they uh, <laughs> came up five more feet, so they're within 15 feet. Uh, can I reach them on a normal move and melee or not? Yep. Okay, I'm going to pull a joker with a joy buzzer and shocking grasp on the one that annoyed me. Sure. That would be Franklin. 17. Franklin. 17 hits. Oh. Does he have metal armor on by chance? Uh, leather. Okay. So he just took, uh, I think it's five points of damage. No. Oh, that's uh, wrong die. That was die six. Uh, nope, still five points of damage. Uh, at 12, he goes unconscious. There we go. I said, hey, look, a prisoner, guys. Thank you. I'm going to make uh, note Bash, of my, my performance Bash, review. Bash has a bolt in his head <laughs> as Ralph just skip shot one off the cave floor. and whoop. Uh, So you guys have Franklin. Franklin. And with that, I think it's a good time to end it so that Barnum I can, I don't know, thermaturgy himself clean or something. <laughs> uh, Jason, what'd you think? Uh, I have lots of notes to keep track of for performance evaluations for later for everyone who is in the game. Oh, you know what you can do with those? <laughs> I'll them, of course. Of yeah. course, in the round... Uh, in that round, the round or Alex, what'd you think? I feel, uh, yeah, I, my apologies for showing up late, but I feel like we ended the battle one round early and we had a prisoner. If we went one more round, I don't think we would have had a prisoner. No, okay. so what was the intention there? Were we trying to keep, keep the prisoner? Were we um, to the prisoner? intention is now you've got somebody to torture. Oh, come on. Now we're in the torturing business. I thought I already told you. Look, look, look. look. You have to understand, we're going to put a torch in his hand and make him march in front of everybody else. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now I don't have to be the front man. Okay. Yeah. That's like a good that. idea. <laughs> uh, little Frankie, what'd you oh. think? That was fun. I, I find this is the first time I've ever gotten a nat 20 and actually been my first roll. Like, cause I can, I can roll on this, like, and I'm not playing like after my turn, I'll roll 15, 17s, 18s. This is the first time. I'll maybe roll that's why you don't roll during your turn. Yeah. yeah. Well, maybe you've turned a corner. You need old school dice, man. That's right. That's old no. school. Math my rocks, touch is, baby. Touching Math it rocks. Was, touching it makes it worse. Uh, middle Frank, what'd you think? I had fun. I'm enjoying it. You're covered Except, in blood, uh, you know that, right? Yeah, well, I think to read it right, I think it would be yeah. that I just Maybe go so. a little bit psychotic and like killing somebody to the point where I don't stop. I just keep bashing their breath, their bodies until I'm like sprayed with blood. Not that I just go to the first pile. So like roll. a Viking. Yes. Okay. Well, like works. I want to bathe in the glory of my battle. I want their blood to cleanse me. Maybe that'll work. I like so a berserk. Nice. Sophia, what'd you think? I thought it was fun. And also, don't kill Franklin. Not my problem. <laughs> don't kill Franklin. That, that, that's Again, not my problem either. I'm not <laughs> even a prisoner taking business. Uh, Frank Sr., what'd you think? Uh, I'll probably have nightmares tonight now. <laughs> Goofy over there. <laughs> that was fun. I knew you was going to have these clowns down in this catacomb, so... Yeah, no, no surprise. When they there. doubt about no surprise at all, I want to know what the deal is. Was this armor was shiny? Was it a reason for it to be shiny? Uh, it's half plate. Half plate. <laughs> yeah, half plate. Maybe if you can get it cleaned up and repaired, it'll be worth something. 
Uh, folks, this has been Murder Hobo Week, the Mark Dude campaign. Thanks for joining us. We hope you liked it. AJ asked to go back and rewatch the first part uh, for things that he missed. Sophia should not go back and listen to the parts that no. she missed. Uh, don't forget to follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot shit about D&D, join our Discord. If you want to buy our cool crap, the link is down there. If you need more dice that Frankie has not touched, uh, contact <laughs> that pirate dog dice. Uh, and uh, uh, make your game uh, a whole lot better than middle Frank, who's rolling around in blood. Try some adventure sense from oddfishgames.com. Folks, we'll see you again on Tuesday for Between the Rolls. Uh, maybe next Thursday for Cacophony. For all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., we appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us. Big wave and a kiss, boys and girls. Bye, everybody. Bye.